What's going on guys? Cam here from Edmonds Woodshop. So if you have a polar or if you're thinking about getting a polar, then you probably know that the size diameter for the rotary is limited to 30 millimeters by 74 millimeters. And that's really restricting because most 20 ounce tumblers are about 87 to 88 millimeters in diameter. So the solution for that is to create some risers and that's what we're going to discuss in today's video. So let's get started. So I've already pulled out the tray and the honeycomb bed and I've put the rotary in place and I want to put the tumbler here just so I can give you a visual representation of what we mean. So I have the laser nozzle all the way in the up position. I'm going to center it here and I'm going to bring the gantry down and you're going to see that it crashes right into the top of the tumbler. So that's your limitation, right? The, the height of the polar is going to be your limitation for engraving these tumblers. So if I bring the gantry again forward, this is looking through the tray, it's crashing right in there. So to alleviate that, we are going to lift these legs. So assuming all these legs down here are standard across all polars, I am going to do the measurement for you just using a pair of calipers. And we're going to measure here. And it's roughly, we're just going to say 40 millimeters when we go to put that inside light burn. Okay, so now we're in light burn and we're going to design these risers fairly quick. They're really easy to do. So we're going to start by making sure that our unit of measurements are in millimeters. And you just click the little icon here. It says MM. If yours says inches, make sure it says MM for millimeters. And then we're going to go over to the left toolbar and go to the circle tool. We're going to click and drag and then hold shift on our keyboard and it'll make a perfect circle. And then just let go. And then go back up to the upper toolbar where it says width and height and then make sure your lock icon is locked. And we're going to adjust the diameter to 41 because the legs on our polar measure 40 millimeters. So we want those legs to sit perfectly inside that little cutout here when we make it. All right. And then we're going to move on to the square tool over here on the left toolbar. Click on that. And we're just going to click anywhere on the screen. We're going to click and drag. And if you hold shift, it'll make a perfect circle. And then just let go. OK. Again, going up to the upper toolbar where it says width and height, making sure your lock icon is locked. We're going to change that measurement to 51 millimeters. Hit tab, and it'll adjust. And 51 millimeters is just a size that I test it out to see if it'll work perfectly for holding up the polar legs. Okay, now we're going to go to the left toolbar and click our selection tool arrow. And our, our box should already be selected. So we're going to hold shift and we're going to pick our circle so they're both selected. Come up here to the upper toolbar. We're going to click this little target icon so they center each other. So now they're right on top of each other. So now we're ready to start making the rest of the riser. All right, so click off the screen and then click just the box. And we're going to come over here to the left where this little uh, grid icon is. This is your array tool. So click on that. And what I want you to do here is we know that the width of our box on the x-axis is 51 millimeters. So we're going to change this spacing to 53. So that allows us to have a 2 mil spacing in between each box that we create. Okay. And then you're going to come over here to the Y axis, Y spacing, and you're going to do the same thing. Make it say 53. Okay. And then now on the X column, you can start hitting the arrow key up and you'll see that boxes are starting to show up on your screen. So we want a total of seven because that is the number of risers using the six millimeter material uh, that we need to create the height that we want 
to raise up the polar. So we have the 7 there. So now we're going to do the same thing for the Y axis. We're going to hit this, or the Y row, and we're going to hit the arrow key up. And then we want a total of 4, right? Because we have 4 legs. Okay? So just hit OK and click off the screen. And we're going to pick our circle this time. And then we're going to go back to the array tool over here on the left. And we only want to do four cutouts because that's where each of our legs are going to locate. So we already have the X spacing set to 53. And we're just going to hit the arrow key up. Oh, excuse me. Y, y row. Go to the Y row. And there we go and hit OK. And that's it. So what I like to do is I will group each of these so you have the circle and the square uh, selected and then you go up here to the upper toolbar where there's these three heads just click that and that will group your design right there. So I will group each one of those just so I don't make sure that I don't accidentally select off the screen or move them. I want them to be centered to each other. So now we have enough risers. Each of these sets will be one leg. So we have enough of the material to cut out for four legs. And then as far as settings go, my polar likes to cut at 10 millimeters per second and then 62 power. This is for 6 millimeter material, Baltic birch. Um, you will have to test to see what your laser likes to cut at for your material. Um, but I am cutting around 18 milliamps for this. And so if you are around the same, then these settings should work for you. Uh, but if not, you might have to play with these just... Um, just to make sure they're tailored for your machine. But let's get these cut out and glued together and see what we get. So now we have each of the four risers cut out and glued together and they have their little pocket where each of the legs are going to sit. So now we're going to install these in each one of the corners. Okay, and there you go. So now I have the rotary installed and the risers are in place in the front and in the rear sides. Now, I do want to point out something. Due to the height of the risers, your cord length to the rotary is going to be stretched to its maximum length. So you cannot go any higher with the, with the risers. So here's another example. You can't go any taller because if you do, you will not be able to plug in your rotary cord unless you know how to modify and make one of those yourself. But with the stock setup, you won't be able to go any higher than what you have here. Another thing is that this back wall of the rotary is supposed to sit against this. It's not going to, but don't worry about that. It just needs to be lined up with this edge right here because you want your gantry once the one and one line up to here, you want it to be directly over your tumbler. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a tumbler in place and I got an example right here. So we're gonna go ahead and set that in place. And I'm gonna show you what kind of clearance you have for a 20 ounce tumbler. So check this out. It's going to go right over it and it's not going to crash. So now we're going to do a side view. Check out how much space you have between the laser nozzle and the tumbler. 
So you might ask, well, why can't I do a 30 ounce tumbler? Well, again, I'm gonna refer you back to the length of the cord. So unless you know how to modify a cord and make a, a longer one, you won't be able to do a 30 ounce tumbler no matter how tall you make these risers. So these risers are just meant to accommodate your average 20 ounce tumbler or anything within the 87 to 88 diameter range. So now you can go out and create your own risers for your own tuck polar. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I will have future content regarding the polar, maybe some other laser things coming out very soon. So till then, we'll catch you guys later.